attorneys at The Advocates can't actually prevent you from being in a cycling accident, they will be by your side to support you following your accident. Our legal services won't cost you a dime out of pocket, so when you need an injury attorney, call us. We're The Advocates, your Utah personal injury attorneys. You didn't deserve to be in an accident, but you do deserve an advocate. This is The Monty Show, the truth in sports talk streaming. When you want unbiased opinions about your favorite team without the spin, all you have to do is find The Monty Show, streaming live and available 24 hours a day, seven days a week on YouTube. And now, here's Monty. Hey, Monty. Happy Giving Friday on The Monty Show. As always, presented by The Advocates, theadvocates.com, the best injury attorneys in the business. And I tell you guys... Every day almost on this show that the advocates work in your communities. And it's it's always great when we can give back. We love, as I think you know, supporting the people that support this show, supporting the advocates who are working with the Murray Children's Pantry to put an end to childhood hunger in this country. And today's the day that we have the opportunity to make a statement with that initiative. I am asking you today to not give memberships to the show. As much as we love growing our community, as much as we love and we want to uh, have more members and drive Lamborghinis like Rasheed Rice, um, today is not about that. Today is about ending childhood hunger in our communities by donating to the advocates on Venmo. It is Giving Friday. Let's put our money where our mouth is. And listen, if you are not able, if you are you know, struggling financially, don't even feel bad about it. I totally understand it. Thank you for being here. But if you are able to give a dollar, $5, $100, a million dollars, please get on Venmo and donate to the advocates. Advocates donations, as you see right here, advocates donations on Venmo. Uh, and if you want to just put children's hunger, great. We'd love it if you'd put Monty Show Children's Hunger or just Monty Show. They know exactly what we're doing. They know this is their, obviously, this is their current initiative. Just put the Monty Show. Whatever you're comfortable with, please hook it up, but do it today. Don't wait until tomorrow. If you don't have Venmo, it takes quite literally 60 seconds to download the app and sign up. Download the Venmo app. Send it directly to the advocates, advocates donations on Venmo. Let's do our part. Let's do what we can do uh, to to fight childhood hunger in this country. Let's give some shout outs before we rip Florida. St- I mean, describe the latest situation. <laughs> Florida, okay. Mike Smith, mountain mama, lick my bike. I believe those are the words. By the so, way, yes. when you donate to the advocates on Venmo, please screenshot, send it to us. We'll oh, put yeah. you on the show. There's the other part of that. Uh, we're going to give away a $100 Amazon gift card to somebody today who donates to the Venmo live right here on the show. Yeah. All you have to do, advocates donations on Venmo, and then when you are, when you're done with that, take a screenshot, DM Jake, SLC Jake, SLC Jake on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapface. Yeah. Uh, SLC Jake, let us know that you did that. Uh, we want to give away a $100 Amazon gift card today. Um, you lazy hyenas wouldn't hit the like button yesterday during the show, although we had a really uh, great total number at the end of the day yesterday. We are on this show meteorically. Yes. Um, rising to yes. 100,000 subs. Uh, it's wild. We are at... Yes. Bros, we're at 85,862. Let's go, baby. We coming. That's a little gross. We coming. Moff Prof, hello. Mikkel. Call me Mike Chase. Hello. Mike. Dakota Tubbs. Always average. Chad <laughs> Carter. Hello. Whoa. What whoa, happened to Caps Lock whoa, Friday? Yeah, whoa, dude. What, what, what happened to Caps Lock Friday on the morning show? What happened? What, happened? what happened? What the hell is this, dude? There's only a little bit of Caps Lock. What the F? Are you kidding me right now? Uh, Mike Smith. I am feeling super hot, sexy this morning. Going to hear some Friday music, uh, Friday morning FSU rant. Indeed, you will. Indeed, you will because um, we have a big update. The ACC gets a big win in court 
uh, over Florida State. And essentially what happened in court was a North Carolina judge said, uh, yeah, hey, this is where we're going to hear this case. We are not going to dismiss it. And as you know, uh, Florida State and the ACC are suing each other over what essentially amounts to, hey, you're a dick. No, you're a bigger dick. Hey, let's sue each other uh, is what it comes down to. Florida State pretty much screwed the pooch when they allowed everybody to know that they were going to file a suit against the ACC, who proactively and before Florida State filed their case, and this is a big deal, before Florida State filed their case, the ACC sued Florida State in North Carolina court. And by essentially the rule of law, when you have two parties suing each other, whoever sues first, whoever files that case first, generally will win the jurisdiction battle. And that's exactly why it was a very pragmatic move for Jim Phillips and the ACC to file their case before Florida State could file theirs in in the state of Florida. A judge in North Carolina has denied Florida State's motion pretty much across the board um, to dismiss the case, uh, to announce that the ACC um, you know, was wrong in filing their case. Listen, this case all day long, as I told you back in December, should be heard in North Carolina because whether you want to own up to it or not or admit to it or not, this is not about Florida State and the ACC. This is an existential crisis, a crisis of existence. For the ACC conference, the ACC conference is based in North Carolina. That's where this case should be heard. I, I, I've been saying that for months, and Florida State fan is all pissed off because they wanted this case heard in front of a, a favorable jurisdiction. And I am telling you, it doesn't matter where you want the case heard. It should be heard in North Carolina because that's where the the, the conference is headquartered. And when you are you are suing to end the ACC, because again, let's be brutally honest, that's what Florida State and by extension Clemson are trying to do. They're trying to end the ACC so they can get out of the grant of rights without having to pay. That's the entire conversation here. So suing the ACC and you're filing that case second to the ACC who filed theirs before yours, you really stood no chance the moment that the ACC conference filed that suit. I also maintain that no matter where this case is heard, Florida, Mars, although the eclipse is coming on Monday, so I'm not sure that's possible, (laughs) but it doesn't matter where you hear this case, Jake. I think the ACC is on very firm ground here. Absolutely. And I I think that they've had the the upper hand. They've had the the higher ground the entire time so far. I mean, whether whether it is um, their argument that, you know, the, 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 member institutions of the ACC signed the grant of rights, not once, but twice. Um, you know, so how can you say that, you know, we had a gun to your head or you didn't understand the contract or whatever, whatever, like you can't, there's no angle that way for the Florida state in Clemson situation. And I think that, yeah, this whole, this whole situation around where are we going to hold this, this proceeding, I think was very straightforward. And I agree. It was a pragmatic move to file first. And, and I think that, the ACC is showing its 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 you know true colors here. We're starting to understand that the ACC is very capable of defending itself and very much understands how to play the game and how to make sure that they have every opportunity to defend what what um you know is is their position. And I think that that's what we need to see more of out of these conferences. I always felt like in the Pac-12 situation that the Pac-12 as a conference just had no ability to to defend itself and no ability to you know hold its water and really like stand up to things with with schools and that's why I think we find ourselves in a position where that conference partially burned to the ground that's part of the reason because the conference itself didn't operate from a strong footing and that's what I like about this ACC situation the ACC does not care what you think about the grant of rights. The ACC simply cares what's in the grant of rights and, and what that grant of rights says and what that grant of rights entitles them to. And for that reason alone, I think the ACC has got a great opportunity to not only win this, but to control, you know, the, the school's fate in, in, in some senses, because again, 
as we've talked about, the only way out of the ACC is through ESPN, is through the TV partners, 100%. is 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 helping to build a bigger picture for everybody else. But I also don't believe that Florida State or Clemson filed these lawsuits to win. I believe they filed these lawsuits for leverage so that they could negotiate. I've heard that repeatedly from sources we talked to. Um, these are all negotiating positions. And if you look at what the judge said uh, in the ruling, um, the judge, Bledsoe, did grant Florida State's motion to dismiss the ACC's claim that suing the conference was a breach of fiduciary duty to the league, but kept in place the conference's claim that the school, Florida State, breached its duty to, quote, good faith and fair dealings under the ACC's constitution and bylaws. So in that ruling, I mean, this is an unequivocal win yes. for the ACC. It, it's as simple as that. I think you're looking at a situation where I, I don't know that this is even relevant because of the changes that are going to come to the structure of college football. But I think you're looking at a situation where Florida State and Clemson and North Carolina, I think eventually will find that group of 10 to break the ACC grant of rights. I don't believe that this will be that the, the ACC will melt down because of a judge's gavel. Mm -hmm. I don't see that happening. I think these cases will likely be at least delayed until we have real clarity on where on where college football is going. Now, I think this plays part into the Super League conversation mm -hmm. because I think all of this goes away with, with any kind of structural change to college football. And we had, a, a, a obviously, a long conversation, a 90-minute conversation on this show yesterday about, you know, the merits of the college football Super League. But one thing is not in question. Florida State, Clemson, and everybody else in this in this business knows a Super League, whatever you want to call it, there's going to be between, in my opinion, um, 60 and 84 teams in a college football Super League. That is going to happen. Right. It is, it is not a question of if anymore. It is when. And so if you're Florida State and the ACC and Clemson, does it make a whole lot of sense to be pouring tens of millions of dollars into lawyers and legal fees to be suing each other? The answer is is a pretty unequivocal no. It does not make sense. Well, and, and I think you see the you see the the penalties and the price you pay for 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 being irresponsible with your money. You 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 see what can happen when you you make poor decisions. And yeah, I do think that that Florida State and Clemson are are undervaluing the risk here. They're not appreciating the fact that. Yeah, by the way, uh, Clemson hasn't done anything in football for a minute, um, and we might want to focus on doing that before we focus on trying to burn our conference to the yeah. ground because if we win in football, and it doesn't even have to be a national championship, but if we do, in fact, win, uh, let's say, the ACC, and then we get in the college football playoff, and let's say we win one game, we're getting paid more money. And ultimately, I feel like the ACC as a conference has vision, but it's it's surprising to me that Clemson and Florida State don't have vision. They're more concerned about who's making more money now rather than who's going to continue to make more money when the tide turns. Well, and the other thing that's so surprising here out of Florida State is you, I mean, you you gave away your trade secrets here. Mm -hmm. it, it is shocking to me that you allowed the ACC to beat you to your court filing. Because I, I'm no attorney. Obviously, we've talked about that on this show. I am not an attorney. But even I, my non-attorney being ass knows, mm -hmm. whoever files that lawsuit first has the hammer. Right. And I I, I believe it's even, I, I, I was listening to some broke-ass podcast yesterday who was talking about that it is even legal rule in the state of Florida that if you have dueling parties, that have filed countersuits against each other, whoever filed their claim first under Florida law has the jurisdiction, which would be North Carolina in, in court, North Carolina. Yeah. It, the ACC in court, North Carolina. But I, I, do, I, I don't understand why people like Florida State can't get this right. Operate in silence. You know, you're the G in lasagna, dude. 
operate in <laughs> silence, my guys. Yeah. And it, it that's how you get the hammer. That's how you get the upper hand. When you're telling everybody what you're doing and you're being braggadocious and we're going to court, we're going to overthrow the college football playoff. No, you're not. How did that work out? Oh, that's right. You didn't go to court and you didn't overthrow the college football playoff. Did I, I'm just curious now. Did the college football playoff provide you with all that documentation you demanded? No, they never did. Funny how that went away, didn't it? Just went away. Yep. That's the problem here. Florida State is huffing and puffing, and they are blowing their own house down because they continue to tell everybody what they're going to do, which allows the ACC to beat you to their court filing. Which is just unthinkable. Yeah, I mean, it does, in this it's, case, it's never seemed like Florida State and Clemson have a real strong strategy at play here. It, it's always felt like, hey, we just want to make a bunch of noise, Wild. we want to huff and puff, and you know, and and, and inevitably they're going to lose. And I think that's the road we're going down. Yeah, I, I don't, uh, I don't even know what you do with that. Yeah. I truly don't know what you do with that. All right, Giving Friday on the Monty Show. Apparently, the uh, giving is coming in now. Maury Alvarez has sent a video. Here in the class, donating for the kids. Oh yeah, we love the Marty Show and supporting kids. Look at that. Maury Alvarez in the classroom Stud. donating to the advocates on Venmo. Stud. That is, a, that is a great start. Advocates donations. Advocates donations. Yeah. What am I? A golf swing? Yeah. Uh advocates donations on Venmo. Uh a dollar, five dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever you have. Every penny matters. Every penny you donate to the advocates today is going to fight childhood hunger in our communities. Please consider donating. And then there is uh Pooty Boy. Pooty Boy. Dakota Tubbs. Look at that. $14. He donated $14. There you go. And uh, Monty Show Childhood Hunger. Let's go, Dakota. Let's go, Appreciate baby. you. It's coming in fast and furious, man. So we've got two already, already inside of five minutes. Yes. So let's go. Advocates donations. I will pick one of those. Maury sending a video already, I think, has the yeah, lead. Put it. put him over the edge there. What did Dakota's... What did he write there? Monty Show Childhood Hunger. Okay. Okay. I don't hate it. I don't hate it, Dakota Tubbs, and I appreciate it. Advocates donations. I think Maury has the lead. Certainly. With his classroom video. Well, and Dakota, you know, first team all Putin, you know, in his message to me said that he didn't want to be entered to win. It was just for the kids. But, you okay. know, you know, I I, okay. I wasn't about to let that fly. We need to give my our boy some credit. Okay. I like it. Uh, RJC Loner Phone says, please forward to the advocates. Okay. Okay, but you got if you want to win the hundred dollar Amazon gift card, you got to do it yeah, on Venmo. Got to do it on Venmo. You got to do it on that. Venmo. We will, we will forward that money. Absolutely, Absolutely. we Absolutely. will. We, we will, will do that. Yeah. No doubt about it. Aaron Wilson gifted not one but two Monty Show memberships today. Aaron, Aaron, appreciate you. Thank you very much Aaron, for doing that. Ye of twenty five doll hair Amazon gift card earlier in the week. Uh, Eric and Raleigh, do you read comments on Periscope Twitter? Well, Periscope's dead. Um, so I don't read Periscope. Well, I don't know. Comments. I don't know what Twitter is either. I've never, I've never heard of Twitter. Yeah, I don't know what Twitter is. Oh, he but... means Elon. He means X. X. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course we do. <laughs> of course we do. Uh, Eric says, uh, get UNC on board and the ACC will die immediately, which is not going to be easy to do. Yeah. Right. Daniel Dixon, who cares about the ACC sucks anyways. Exactly right. Oh well, yeah. First team all sucks. Exactly because right. Because it's garbage. Exactly right. Uh, Aaron Wilson says one of those memberships was supposed to be for the advocates. I hit the wrong button. I care because it affects the Big 12. It does affect the Big 12 significantly. It does. Stephen Smith, hello. Good morning, my friend. Now that the ACC won its jurisdiction battle, do you think the trial will start soon? I don't think this ever goes to trial. Honest to goodness, I think this was always about leverage. This was always about trying to negotiate your way out of the grant of rights. Yeah, hundred percent. I, I just don't think there's because any I don't doubt think about they, it. They can afford to go to trial. I, I you're not, you, you really tell me that Florida State and 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 Clemson have the the extra budgetary funds to go and fight 
the conference? No, that's not what this is. This is Michigan all over again. This is this is a barking dog trying to get some attention, and that's what we're getting. But but the reality of the situation is is you look so stupid because of the situation with the grant of rights that nobody's respecting your take here of hey we're a victim and yes. you know we you know this is unfair. How can it be unfair? When you signed it not once but twice, and you amongst the other ten schools or whatever it is, all agreed to it. Like, what do you yeah. mean that you were in a bad spot? What do you mean that you were that you were influenced or that you were unfairly treated? Or the only thing that's unfair about this is your bad attitude about the fact that you signed a deal that's getting you paid less over the life of the deal than the SEC and the Big Ten, and and that's that's unfortunately. That's how we do business in this country. It's not the ACC's fault as a conference that you made a silly decision. It's just not. We don't want the rules and laws of America applied to us. We want them applied to everybody else. Yes. We don't want to follow the contract. We just want everybody else to follow yes. the contract. That's, yes. And Steve, I think you're right. Will the ACC and FSU negotiate a settlement between them? I think that what happens here is really critical because I also agree with Eric and Raleigh. If a favorable settlement is reached between Florida State and the ACC, what do you think North Carolina is going to do? Yeah. What do you think North Carolina State is going to do? I don't think do? they're going to reach a favorable settlement. The, the ACC is not incentivized here to help at all. There's no In any way. In, in, in fact, I would say <clears throat> if you're going to settle with, with these schools, you, you have to settle with them in a way where it hurts them. It doesn't help them. Like, you cannot allow Florida State and Clemson to leave this conference through settlement. Uh, uh, retain, without paying a fee. Without paying a fee and and while retaining their TV rights. Because that's the biggest piece. Think about it. If you leave, if you, if, if they were uh, to allow these schools to leave the conference without paying a fee, but they couldn't keep their TV rights. So Florida State essentially is an independent uh, with no TV rights. They cannot televise their games. A, how are you going to get the scheduling done? And B, how are you going to make money without a schedule and without a TV deal? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to understand from the perspective of Florida State and Clemson. Like, where are you going to go? I don't disagree. Uh, RJC Loner Phone, FSU Poverty Class of ACC. I, I just, I don't know what Florida State thought was going to happen here. And you know, we're going to talk about taxpayer dollars in sports. Do you guys understand that they are just burning through money that should be supporting students and faculty and staff at Florida State? That's all they're doing. And by the way, this is on the heels of not making college football playoff money. Just want to point that out. They're just they're just burning money. They're throwing it into the kiln. So not not only did you did you miss out on the college football playoff? Then when you missed out on it, you claim victim and said it's unfair and this is ridiculous. You claim victim. Truth. Then you thought it would be a good idea to sue your own conference. And at the end of the day, all this is just going to mean you made less money. That's all this is going to mean. That that you know, you're in bad standing with the conference. You you spent a bunch of money and it got you absolutely nothing except for a negative return on investment. Uh in terms of how people view you. Yep. Uh, Aaron Wilson, they used to be good, too. They did used to be good. Yeah, and that's the sad part about it, is that Florida State is actually, from the ACC's perspective, one of the one of the better you know schools in the conference. That's the problem. Yeah. Uh, Mike Smith says, Omerta, snitches get stitches. Do you guys know what Omerta means? <laughs> Omerta is uh, mafioso for shut your damn mouth. <coughs> you don't talk to people, man. Uh, CF, uh, GFC Cougs, Florida state has to be the biggest baby has to be, has to be RJC loaner phone. It's a loser argument, regardless of who, uh, files first, the ACC had the legal argument. I agree. I agree, but it's also very, very nice to drive down the street to the courthouse instead of fly down to the panhandle. Yep. Right. It's always better to be in your own backyard. You know, my, I mean, there's no doubt that this was an unequivocal win. Uh, for the ACC, yeah. they, there's just no way to because now that there's a hearing in in Florida, what in two weeks I guess now to dismiss that case, and by Florida law, how you you can't go forward by rule of law in Florida, you can't go forward. You're you're going to have to stay that case, and I think it's going to be very difficult for Florida State to appeal this ruling. Yes, I think it's going to be very difficult, and I think it's also I would I would note that 
kept in place the conference's claim. Let's see. Um, did grant Florida State's motion to dismiss the ACC's claim that suing the conference was a breach of fiduciary duty to the league? And he did so with prejudice, which means that uh, the ACC cannot refile or appeal that. So at, that's a small victory for for the for for Florida State there. So uh, Dakota Tubbs, Aaron Wilson needs to win. He needs more microphones. We 100% agree. Yeah, come on, let's go. Send Aaron Wilson in. says, yes, I'm happy with my 25 big ones I've I won already. Yeah, yesterday or whenever that was. Uh, Tanner Plumaire, what's up? How are you? Uh, everybody tuning in. I see uh, everybody waking up this morning on a Giving Friday where we are working with the advocates to fight childhood hunger in our communities. They are partnered with the Murray Children's Pantry, which is a great cause. It is a great cause. The Murray Pantry um, takes all of their donations and they put it into feeding hungry children. So canned foods, um, thing, it, it, the, and I've I've been talking to people about this. A lot of you have DM me about about this notion that there are a lot of kids that are hungry, and and I don't know how to better illustrate it than to say the statistics don't lie. Schools do not have unlimited funds to feed kids. Mm -hmm. Even if they did, do you know the difficulty that a, a fifth grader faces in saying, hey, I don't have a lunch today. I don't have a lunch yesterday or tomorrow. Hey, can do you, do you know how embarrassing that is for kids? Do you know how difficult that is? We talked about this at Christmas time. We talked about this with school supplies last year. When you don't have the basic necessities like a pencil and a piece of paper, when you show up to class, do you know how humiliating that is? Do you know how humiliating it is when everybody comes back and the teacher's like, hey, what'd you get for Christmas, Jenny? Hey, Stevie, what'd you get for Christmas? Do you know how difficult that is? When you show up the, the first day after winter break and you're not wearing new clothes or you're not, you're not, you don't have on the fresh J's that everybody else has, that's humiliating, right? So when we, we sit here and we talk about whether or not kids struggle to, to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day, trust me, they do. Trust me, they do. Not only does that hurt them in, in their emotions, do you think they're performing at their best in the classroom? Are we setting those kids up for future success? We're not. We're not. And so the advocates, advocates donations, yes. advocates donations on Venmo are partnered with the uh, Murray Children's Pantry to help fight childhood hunger in our communities. Uh, please, a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars. Donate today. Screenshot your Venmo. And I'm asking you today, usually on Giving Fridays, we're all about giving away gift cards and, and free memberships. Today, I'm asking you not to give away memberships. Do not donate memberships. Please get on Venmo and donate to the advocates. That's what I'm asking you for today on Giving Friday. I love our membership community and I want to grow our community. This is more important. Advocates donations is way more important than growing our community because they're giving that money uh, to, to hungry kids. And, and that's what we need to do. And by the way, I think that the, the, the whole thing about people DMing you about, are there actually a lot of kids hungry? Isn't one a lot, like even if it was too just many. one kid, it's a lot too many, like it shouldn't happen. And that I think is the premise. And, and the point is, is that, you know, this show has, you know, hundreds of thousands of views a month in totality. If even a small percentage of you do this, it makes a huge difference. Huge difference. Huge difference. UW fan Jim, summer is coming and the school lunches go away, but poverty does not. That's yeah. exactly right. And even if we're just providing canned foods, even if we are just providing basic nutritional items, it makes a huge difference. It does. If if you have, if you're a, what is a, what is a granola bar? I can't, the Hidden Valley. Is Hidden that Valley, the, yeah. Hidden Valley granola bars. What it, what does that mean to a kid? If you're hungry and you get a, a Hidden Valley granola bar, come on, man. Like it's little stuff like that. Uh, let's see. You went to Placerville. I'm very thankful and blessed to be in the position I am. There are a lot of folks struggling or in pain out there, dude. <clears throat> you have no idea. Yeah, you have no and idea. That's the hard part too. Like I feel like 
you know, we, we don't even know in totality how many people struggle. But you got it. There's nothing wrong with being being insular inside of, hey, I don't struggle. I don't this. I don't, I know. I know that I'm going to have uh, whole grain oats, a solid, nutritious breakfast today. There's nothing wrong with knowing that. There's nothing wrong with feeling good about that. But when we are the 1% in the world, and, and most of the people that watch this show do pretty well, when we are the 1% in this world, there is something wrong with saying, yeah, kids aren't hungry. They get fed at school. Trust me when I say they don't. Yeah. Trust me when I say they don't. Uh, Saw, dude. How's the Good camera, morning, bud? Gary. Gary got a new camera. Speaking of the 1%. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Stephen Smith, since Florida State lost the jurisdiction battle, Clemson will also lose the jurisdiction battle in a suit they filed against the ACC, correct? I don't, I don't believe that that's the case. You're going to, all of these decisions will be made individually. Because oh, technically, I don't know how that would be viewed, I guess. See, this is where you need legalese. You need legal help. Because, again, if they're treated separately, which I would assume they would be, but if they're treated separately, then uh, technically Clemson would have filed first in their situation. I believe Clemson did file first. Yeah. I don't know the law in South Carolina. So, so I don't question, want to speak out of turn. You know, the only question that I would have is, and, and I'm sure we'll get clarity at some point, but, but you know, since Clemson is essentially riding the coattails of the Florida State, you know, suit, they're kind of joining, if you will. Yeah. Are, would they be viewed as, you know, together or it just is, yeah, you just have to get someone who knows that. But I would assume that they're treated separately uh, on the surface. On, on the merits of their suits, I would assume that. Uh, Dakota Tubbs says, Suh, dude, welcome to Giving Friday, you casuals. Yes, please hit the uh, please hit the like button. That helps the channel grow. Aaron Wilson, I've had a lot of struggles since my dad died, but things are getting better. The show has helped a ton. Yes, Aaron, you are battling and battling well, my friend. Tanner Plummer, the 1%. Who are you, Bernie Sanders? Good old feel the burn. Remember that whole thing? Yeah. Uh, Bernie Biker Gangs. Seriously, if you're okay. just tuning into the show, we're talking about a uh, ruling in North Carolina that gives uh, the ACC a big win in court. Ultimately, what do you think happens here? I think well, I think they lose both cases, and I and I think that you know if they win, they're in danger of being in a really bad position as as a university. I, I think that you know there's if you leave a conference, there's no going back. You don't get to walk out the door and then three months later say we couldn't find a home take us back that's not how it works and so well to me i i i it's all fine and dandy that you want to leave the conference but i i still maintain that that the the baggage of leaving a conference is not being appreciated by these two like i like again where are you going to get a tv deal um where are you going to get scheduling um and frankly how is it that you're going to come out uh, whole and then some? Because if you're going to leave a conference, you damn well better have a plan for how to recoup that money plus some, or else what's the point? Because that's the genesis of this whole thing. Hey, we're not making the money that we could be or should be in a different conference. But the only problem with that is is it's not as easy as just, oh, uh, yeah, the ACC is in this office. Yeah, let's walk out of that office and come down here to the Big Ten. Right. It's not that easy. And so – when you start to think about where college football specifically is going, yes, of course, Florida State and Clemson would be in the Super League, 100%. No doubt about it. Check that box. But but I'm, I'm wondering if, let's say they were to leave the conference. If you happen to be independent when that Super League is formed, are you telling me you're not at more risk of not being in the Super League because of your independence and because of your TV deal situation? You can't tell me that helps your case. I, I just... I'm curious how this court case impacts realignment's timeline. I mean, do we, because there was all this nonsense about, oh, Florida State's going independent. No, they're not. You don't leave the ACC to go independent, right? So I think we've heard a lot of storytelling. Yeah. And I don't think anybody knows exactly how this will play out. If Florida State loses time after time, I, I have to assume that at some point that and, and I know it's happening, but at, at what point does Notre Dame make a move? At what point does Notre Dame get into the ACC fight? Because with Jim Swarbrick, the former athletic director, now 
out of the picture every day more and more, the voice in the leadership at Notre Dame is going to change. And my question is, does Notre Dame vote to break the conference at any point in this argument? I think there's they could. Not because they need a football home, but because they're better off with all their other sports in the Big Ten. And I think the Big Ten would happily welcome them. Yeah. But what does it take to move North Carolina and Duke? Because I think that's the center of power in the ACC. What does it take to move them? We reported exclusively on this show that Duke in, is a top target of Brett Yormark in the Big 12. And they have begun the process of reaching out to Duke. I would assume by now, 10 days has passed, something has happened. Mm-hmm. Um, I would assume that that Brett Yormark in the Big 12 have reached out to Virginia, Louisville, uh, North Carolina, Duke. I mean, you, Brett Yormark is not somebody who is just going to stand by and watch this happen around him. Yeah. That's not going to happen. So I think there is there is a lot of stuff behind the scenes that we don't know about. And so I'm curious, how do these rulings, because there is no there is no ruling that happens like this of this magnitude. This was a massive loss for Florida State. They were, I don't believe they were ever in position uh to win this this appeal, as I as I told you, these dismissals. I don't believe that they ever had a legal foot to stand on to get these dismissals done. I also don't believe they have a legal foot to stand on when it comes to winning this case. They do not. They got beat at every turn here by the ACC. They've looked foolish by trying to, uh, you know, put this out and speak it into existence that the ACC is, you know, uh, damaging their brand. And it doesn't matter. You have a a rock solid contract that you sign. Yeah. A rock solid contract. And to their credit, I'd make the argument about SMU and Stanford and Cal damaging the brand and lowering the value of the conference. Sure, that is that is probably the only uh, real argument that you have. You know, like, I, I just, I, I think it is what it is. It, yeah, I mean, and, and I think the, you know, the situation will play itself out. And I think that Florida State and Clemson are going to come out on the wrong side of it. And I think there's potential. And, and I would even go as far as to say, I think there's likelihood that, when this is all said and done, Florida State and Clemson are going to be very quiet, and and I think they're. I only say that because you're you're not going to have anywhere to go with it. You're not going to have like you know like just think about like what's after this like for Florida State and Clemson like where do you go? What but Jake the eclipse is on Monday. Well, and uh, you know according to some the world's going to end on on mo- midday and, Monday, and, and it's very possible. And you know if the world ends, it ends. But but I'm not I'm not here for that 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 nonsense. Yeah. Not I'm here for it. I agree with you. Uh, let's see. Calvin sent me a DM on Instagram. Uh, and he said, I don't want a shout out. I just wanted you to know I donated to the Ven- uh, on Venmo to the advocates. Let's go, Calvin. I appreciate you. You're getting a shout out anyway. Uh, it, it is to me, this this is, oh, and we got another one. We did. Look at that. Uh, I will, I will put that up. Thank you to everybody who is donating on Venmo to the advocates today. Look at that. Uh, RJC loaner phone Venmo $50 now screenshot send where, uh, send it to Jake S L C Jake J K S L C J J K. um, is where you find, uh, Jake on Instagram. Uh, so send it to Jake and today somebody, giggity. uh, uh, let whoa, 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 look at giggity. Hooking it up. Navy Federal Credit Union. Hello. Love it. Giggity, thank you very much. Appreciate you, bro. Always appreciate you. Giggity, a longtime supporter of this show. Uh, Thank you, Calvin. Thank you, RJC Loner Phone. Uh, Giving Friday here on the Monty Show. If you're just tuning in, uh, we are working with the Advocates. You know our great friends and partners at the Advocates. Uh, The best injury attorneys in the business, theadvocates.com, where you can chat with an injury attorney 24-7, 365. It won't cost you a dime at theadvocates.com. Everything from bicycle accidents, slips and falls. Um, Almost got murked by a uh, a, uh, SUV last night on the way home from one of the most difficult golf lessons I've ever taken. Almost got murked. Yeah, it was not good. The freeway is is, is the wild, wild west out here. Yeah, the freeway is called the freeway for a reason. Uh, If you get in a car accident, (laughs) if you get hit by a a semi-truck, which we talked about over the holidays, hey, if you get hurt at work, heavens to Betsy, you get hurt at work today. The Advocates at theadvocates.com, the 
the the workers comp workplace injury experts where you never pay the advocates out of pocket. You don't pay the advocates unless and until they win your case. Donate to them on Venmo because they are working with the Murray Children's Pantry to fight childhood hunger in our country. It is Giving Friday. Please do not donate memberships to the show today. And I love you, Aaron Wilson. And I love everybody that's donated memberships. We want that. We want that money to go to kids who are who are battling their next meal, who don't know where their next meal is coming from. That's what today is all about. Advocates donations, 100% of your donations go directly to uh, the advocates who give that money to the Murray Children's Pantry. Hook it up, Giving Friday right here on The Monty Show. Uh, let's see. Who else is in this morning? Stephen Smith. If the ACC wins both suits, would the Big 12 be in trouble for trying to reach out to Duke and other? It, it, it doesn't work that way. You're not. It's not like Brett Yormark was like, "Hey, Coach K. Hey, Monty. It. You are. You are doing what. What took place in the Pac-12 when everybody said, "Hey, the hacks on YouTube don't know shit about shit." What did I tell you? That BYU. Tom Homo, the people in Provo were working on behalf of the Big 12 to open lines of communication with Utah. And they did. And it made a big difference. That's the way you form relationships. You're not having formal conversations with North Carolina, with Duke, with your you're back channeling. And even if you were having formal conversations, what law did you break? That's the nature of business in college sports now, fortunately or unfortunately. That's the nature of college sports. Yeah. You know, uh, ooh, we get another one. We get another one. We get another one. Another we like one. It. Uh, Tanner Plummer, independent equals irrelevance unless you're Notre Dame. And Notre Dame has just been at it, you guys, for so long. Yeah, they're they're definitely a different cut, dude. Right? I mean, I, I don't think, and Tanner, you're not wrong. You're exactly right. But it's because Notre Dame, I believe Notre Dame was independent before uh, Jesus was you know, resurrected and the Romans were in power. In God's name. I could be wrong. And likeness. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't think you are. Um, Let's see. OG Gary. OG Gary with an $18 donation. I love it. 18 doll hairs. From the Monty Show uh, for, for the kids. M-O-N-N-Y. <laughs> hey, guys. Wait, wait. M-O- Notice M-O-N-N-Y. <laughs> M-O-N-N-Y. <laughs> Hey, Monty. Hey, Monty. <laughs> hey, Monty. Oh, gee, Gary, love you, buddy. Thank you very much. That's funny, uh, When are we going to beat your ass in golf? Yeah, dude, when do you want to golf? Do you guys take golf lessons? We, we Our guy, Darren Ingram, up at Canyons Golf, um, is our golf instructor. He's our swing coach. Yeah. We took a lesson last night that well, it, it is so difficult to, to learn. You know how to hit a golf ball. Until you take a lesson with a guy that's a PGA professional and you learn how to hit a golf ball. Dude. And then you realize you don't know any and then, singular point you know, of hitting a golf you're ball. You're working your ass off trying to figure the, out the things he's teaching you. Oh, man. And then man. you do it like once. Oh, man. The, you do it the first time after like 50 tries and the ball just like goes a mile and you're <sighs> like, bro, what, what just happened? Wild. Absolutely wild. Like I'm talking about, I'm talking about my guy over here compressing the ball to a point where he was like 200 yards on his eight iron with a range ball. Wild, wild. Uh, love everybody watching the show. We're at about 600 viewers total. Facebook, Twitter, Twitter. Uh, and YouTube. Make sure you guys hit the like button, please. Uh, let's see. Eric and Raleigh says currently 113 people in this chat, but only 48 likes the hell. That's what yeah. I'm saying, bro. Yeah. Let's I'm happy to do it. There's 110 people uh, watching live. We're at 51 likes. I will give you five minutes to get this show to 100 likes. I'll give away a $25 Amazon gift card. Dude, that's not even a lot to ask, man. That's Come it. on. Hook it up. I, it's Giving Friday. We want to give to you. Somebody, somebody is going to win a $100 Amazon gift card in about an hour from now. A hundo. Because you donated to the advocates on Venmo. Right? Like, And if you look at the donations, I love it. Every penny matters. $14. Look at that. $100. Uh, $18. $50 from RJC Loaner Phone, right? One of them is going to win a $100 Amazon gift card today. Donate 20, get a $100 Amazon gift card. That's an $80 profit. And the kids are getting food for it. I love it. Mike Smith, pay, oh, whoa, comment dump. Dakota Tubbs, Tanner is soaked 24-7, 365, signed Little Jizzy. 
I like it. Uh, I can't like from my from my iPhone. Why? Because it's broken. You're on a loaner phone. See, it's, see what see, I did there. See, do you still have? Do you, I just want verification. Do you, we we still have the screenshot. I just want to make sure that we have documentation around the mm -hmm. loanership program. We do, um, isn't this it? We do not uh, offer loaner phones during So repairs. he must not have a loaner iPhone. Mm, good call. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, RJ. Never mind. <laughs> You're never living Wait, it down. Wait, Chad. What, uh, Chad Carter. Dude. Make 2K chill on the purple drink, bro. Where is Caps Lock Friday? And, and what's the breaking news that you were giving us on the Monty program? You said in the pre-show comments you were going to break news. I want it. I need it. Uh, San Diego State, Glenn, I'm sure Monty and Jake will get the uh, get to this later, but the A's are truly dead to me as of yesterday. Yeah, they moved to Sacramento well, starting the, next year. The Sacramento A Kings? Excuse me. It's the West Sacramento Athletics, oh, please. Oh, my bad. My bad. Sorry. Now, Sorry, having, been, uh, having been on the radio, number one rated radio show in Sacramento. Yeah. Thank Monty. you very much. Uh, Monty after midnight, right. Monty till midnight. I can't remember what we called it. It was 2000 that I was there. Uh, <laughs> having thrown out the first pitch, uh, for the Sacramento river cats, the triple a affiliate of your San Francisco giants. Um, that's a great ballpark. And I think it is a brilliant solution by the never going to be Oakland A's again. Well, net wouldn't know. You mean never going to be salt Lake A's. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry, Ryan Smith. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, little jizzy is Tanner still the super soaker forever, forever. Wow. Do you guys still advertise, uh, the day trading group yesterday was a great day for day trading. If you were going to short after lunch, oh, dude, no. what's the matter? Tanner, bro, dude, don't Venmo Tanner. Just Venmo me his money instead of Venmoing the advocates. Tanner, dude. Play the play the music, Tanner. This is not dude. We're we're gonna have to go in on you now, Tanner. Like, I, I, what am I supposed to do with this? What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Buy me lunch, you guys. Like, guy, this no, in is all seriousness, not difficult. Well, well, we can pass it on, but we want you to Venmo the advocates because it costs money. There's fees involved in Venmoing, so less money. What happened? Okay, <laughs> bro, you Venmoed my personal Venmo account. You didn't even do the show's account, dude. <laughs> you sent it to my personal <laughs> Hey, I understand prophylactics Brother, are expensive. Dude. Prophylactics are expensive. I get it. Dude. <laughs> Love you, Tanner. It's, it is the thought that counts. Yes, This is. is the Venmo. Yes. Right here. Advocates donations, you guys. Today is Giving Friday. Advocates donations, advocates donations. If you're on Facebook, if you're on Twitter, and, and hey, I just want to shout out everybody on Twitter. Our show is doing very well on Twitter. Um, we live stream it separately on Twitter. If you're on Facebook or Twitter, please come to uh, YouTube and subscribe to the show. Are we over? We're very close to a milestone of 86,000 subscribers on uh, on YouTube. I feel like we are rocketing towards a hundred thousand. We are hundred percent. We are. Um, let's see. Is this Tanner's? Yes, it is. Tanner's donation. Okay. Let's see. Uh, but if you're on Twitter or Facebook, um, please consider coming over to YouTube, hitting subscribe. Love that you guys watch on Twitter. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Tanner Plummer, you're a stud dude. Appreciate you, man. Uh, hope that LAFC makes your dreams come true. Um, you know, and hope that the LA Galaxy or I don't, I'm just being a jerk now. Go Portland Timbers. Like, I can't remember the Seattle Sounders. Uh, the Seattle A's. The Seattle S Athletics. I yeah. hope they make your dreams come true. <laughs> <laughs> Tanner, you're amazing. You're amazing. And look at this. You and Tanner are friends now. Payment between friends. Wow. Look at that. Oak at State Tanner. James. At Tanner. Yeah. What do you, what do you, you guys, neck it? <laughs> you guys, neck it? <laughs> Tanner. Love you, dude. Yeah, Thank appreciate you. you, bro. Thank you. Appreciate you very much, man. Thank you, everybody that's donating right here. Advocates donations. When you make your donation on Venmo, take a screenshot, send it to Jake, SLC Jake, SLC Jake on uh, Instagram. 
take a screenshot of your Venmo that you sent to Advocates Donations and send it to Jake on Instagram. SLC Jake. Yes. SLC Jake. Yes. Uh, and you'll be entered to win a $100 Amazon gift card um, unless you're Dakota Tubbs and you've got Putin money and you don't want to be entered to win. Yeah. You know. Uh, let's see. Chad Carter. Can I get an Amazon card today? The dog we rescued from an abuser literally number two all over the carpet. <laughs> my dog is, you, you guys, you guys may know this, that I, my dog died. One of my dogs passed about six weeks ago. All right. Um, and I had, so I had two dogs. My remaining dog, Django is his name, um, is dealing with a back injury. He's a, I have a, he's a little guy. He's about 20 pounds He's got a hinge joint for his back. He jumped off my bed the other day and just fucked himself up some kind of way. And he, he is limping around like he is older than Mike Smith, whose birthday is Monday. Yes. It is It is wild to me. So we're trying to uh, do that. But hey, Chad, DM Jake. I'll give you a $25 Amazon gift card. Only if we get a Caps Lock Friday take, though. Because we didn't get to 100 likes. Yeah. We have two minutes. We're you guys. We have two minutes. Okay, we're at sixty-seven likes. There's hundred and fourteen people watching. Hit the like button if we get to a hundred. That's only thirty-three. If we get to a hundred in the next seven minutes. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do, and we we should be good to go. Uh, that's Tanner's. My bad. I need to. Uh, I need to. Yeah, drop I have this a couple. I'm sending you here. Okay. There's a third one here that I've just sent you that actually has a take inside the Venmo. It's got a take. Oh boy. Inside the Venmo message. Boys, that's that's gonna put you in a good spot. <clears throat> that's gonna put you in a big that's gonna put you in a good spot. All right, let's go here. A take inside the Venmo. Yes. All right. So that there is, is how much was that? Ten dollars. That's Lee Jensen. Lee Jensen, you stud. Good yes. to see you, Lee Jensen. Yes. Uh there's Tanner. I need to go the other way. Uh the advocates. Um, let's see. Should be, I think the banner's blocking. I think it's right oh, at the bottom. Banner's blocking. The banner's blocking. The building, the banner's blocking. Clear all banners. Clear all banners. It's in his message. Clear all banners. Children's hunger. Get off my Clemson Tigers nuts. <laughs> that is Toby Lawson. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my Clemson Tigers nuts. Yes. Get off my Clemson Tigers nuts. That's fucking phenomenal, dude. It's probably different than what you're thinking, though. I you needed this that. program on NIL. Stay hard. I needed that so desperately. Yes. I cannot even I cannot even tell you how good that is. Oh um, my! That's the leader right there. That you've you've out, you've outdone yourself. What's his bro's name? Uh, Toby Lawson. Toby Lawson, you're amazing. Toby, you're in the lead for the hundred dollar inside gift card. And then you should have one more from Brandon Butler. Brandon Butler. Um, let's see. Is this the one uh, for twenty doll hairs? Let's see. I'm. I. I know. I did. No, you send that to not, me? Yeah. That's not it. No. Um, where is, where is, let me um, see. hello. I, well, you, we have a bunch, you I guys know. are amazing. Yeah, we have so many now. Thank you. Advocates donations, advocates donations. Uh, <laughs> my friend Tanner doesn't know how to Venmo the body. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. Did he really say that? My friend Tanner doesn't know how to Venmo the body. <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's Lee Jensen. Yeah, that's Lee Jensen's. Is that what he said? I didn't see that the first time. I didn't see that. You either. didn't send me Brandon Butler's. I didn't. Okay, I don't think me, you sent it. Me, me <laughs> My friend Tanner doesn't know. How Oh my God. The Mahdi program. Oh my God. That is, that is, see, this is what life is about. I know that we're spending money and I know that we are, but you guys, seriously, that's it. Get off my, get off Clemson's nuts. Dude, we have a big fish. 
donation right here. That that is. I don't care. Does it talk about Clemson Tiger nuts? <laughs> oh my god. Uh the Monty show uh feed the children $20. Let's Brandon go. Butler. Thank you Brandon Butler. <laughs> get off my cl- I can't get over that. <laughs> that and Lee Jensen calling out Tanner Plummer. <laughs> In a donation is one of the greatest moments that this this showgram has ever seen. I mean, it's it's truly one of the greatest moments. So my friend Jennifer Young, who uh, coordinates all this stuff for the advocates, she reads all of these memo spots. You yes. know that, right? Yes. So when you guys send stuff, man, two hundred and fifty dollars. Eric Rogers. Eric Rogers. Let's go appreciate you my guy yeah that is uh eric and raleigh yes, yes eric and raleigh you stud thank you very much appreciate you let's go feed as many people as you can let's go eric and raleigh appreciate stud. that so Stay see hard. see what's happening love now that. that momentum now you guys are love that this thing and if you're just tuning into the show you're like bonnie are you gonna talk sports today yeah, you guys are doing a clickbait show. You're doing a fundraiser when you should be talking about the ACC sucking. Oh, man, that Tiger, Clemson Tiger nuts got me, dude. That's <laughs> that's unbelievable. Who's in the lead? Is it simply Eric Rogers because he gave 250? I still think the Clemson Tiger nuts. Well, this Tiger is always nuts. the conversation. So Maury's got to be in the conversation because he did a video. He did a video. And he did it in his classroom, right? So that's got to be, you know, that's got to be in contention. 100%. Yeah. You're in the class. Look at that. Donating. It's drinking Avion. For the kids. Oh, yeah. We love the Marty Show and supporting kids. That's right. See? And you're drinking so, Avion. So, so he's the tears be, of Christ he, he's in a bottle. There. He's got to be there. Um, you know, I think that, that certainly Clemson Tiger Nuts is there. Dude, I think and it's. And certainly Eric Rogers, Eric and Raleigh is there. I think the Clemson Tiger nuts has to be there. That is so funny. That is so oh, good. Oh, we have a new entry. New entry. That is so good. I mean, okay, so we're we're going to Las Vegas to play golf with Mo uh, Boss Frog at yeah. the end of the month. Yeah. I'm going to read you this message, and I hope he does not get upset. <laughs> <laughs> I said to Mo in a text message, um, I said, looking forward to seeing you. Where should we have dinner? Does a hobby horse have a hickory dick? (laughs) (laughs) Does a hobby horse have a hickory dick? I believe it does. I believe believe it does. Damn. Uh, Of course, we're having dinner. I know you guys love Masters, but you know... SW has a pretty good bone in Wagyu New York strip. Just saying. Sorry for the delay slammed with Casey <laughs> trying to button it up. <laughs> Does a hobby horse have a hickory dick? This is what Friday is all about. This is what Friday is all about. Okay, did I upload that one? What do we got here? Okay. It's Caps Lock Friday on the Monty Show. Let's go. You Harbaugh. I know who that is. <laughs> And it's sixty nine dollars on Cap Lock Friday. Thank you, Chad. Harbaugh stinks. <laughs> I cannot wait to talk to Jen Young at the Advocates today. So let me get this right. Not only are we helping kids here, but through that process, we're having sports takes that would include Clemson's nuts and Harbaugh stinks. Children's hunger. Get off my Clemson Tiger nuts. <laughs> That'd be America's team. I'm going to text Jennifer right now, and I'm going to tell her. Yeah, we got to do this live. I am going to tell her the Venmo memo section (laughs) got wild today. Enjoy a good laugh. Enjoy a good laugh, comma, I hope. (laughs) I mean... Get on, I, okay, who do you have in the lead, Jake? Who do you have in the league? I, I, it's between Maury, Maury, Chad Carter, and get off my Clemson nuts. <laughs> I'm still get off my Clemson yeah. nuts. Yes. Do you have another one? I do. Let's go, you guys. Yes. Let's go. This Vote one, in the comments section. This one is unique. 
So this one is is so, a girlfriend. A girlfriend. The girlfriend has donated to the kids. And Your girlfriend? Yes, my girlfriend. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Bro. Out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> the Monty show for the kids. Yes. Okay. Appreciate okay. you. Okay. Thank Look, you. You know what I like? Um, the Central Bank of the Midwest. Yes. Like looking at the all truck the stop conference. I had a, I had a, and, and now we're kind of off the rails, I guess here on the Monty show presented by the advocates on giving Friday. I had a very interesting bank experience. I have a car loan through a credit union who shall, shall not be named. <laughs> right. Yeah. He who has no name. Yes. They would, I told you guys, I made a, I made a payment. I'm trying to pay my Jeep down so I can trade it in on a Cayenne. Um, and I'm pretty close to the tipping point. So I've been trying to make a principal payment. They won't take principal payments on my loan. They straight up have said, no, we don't take principal payments, which is to say we want our pound of flesh, no matter what you're paying and when you're paying it. And so I got all pissy with them and went up the food chain and wrote a, you know, essentially wrote a, um, a, a text in a text conversation and an email conversation with their customer service people, I wrote a complaint letter. And to their credit, yesterday, their, one of their uh, branch managers called me back and said, we'll make an exception. <laughs> You'll make an exception. Oh, by the way, here's how you make a principal payment. So did you really make an exception? You didn't. You didn't make an exception. Um, all right, let's see. Who, who, where are we at here? Uh... Loner phone says thick skin. It's cool. Yeah. Oh it, God. What it, is, it's not do we have, do we have Dan R energy in here? What are we doing? Yeah, what happened here? Yeah, let, what me, happened? let me go back up here. Holy yeah. Let's God. rewind the tape here. Um, let's see. Is Tanner still the super soaker? Yes. Uh, if you get unalived by some jag off, call the advocates. Absolutely true. Even if you're unalived. <laughs> absolutely. Even if you're unalived. Uh, absolutely true. Uh, Tanner wants to know if the world was supposed to end in 2012. It was, but now we have the solar eclipse. Yeah. Did you see all the Christian fundamentalists mm. saying that the eclipse will never end because the world is ha actual hell and that, um, the rapture is going to happen the moment that the solar eclipse is fully in, a, in effect. It's the fucking vernal equinox. Okay. Okay. Mercury's in retrograde. You know, I, I mean, I don't hate you. Um, let's see. Hello, Lee Jensen. Good to see you. Um, thank you for participating today. Um, Dakota Tubbs, you have to be careful on this show, Mr. Loner Phone. These knuckleheads will hit you on anything. With this comment section can be hey, man. Dog eat dog world, bro. Toby Lawson. Hello, there's Toby Lawson. You figured it out. Mike Smith. Uh, his breaking news was his herpes test came back negative. <laughs> what the? What are we talking about, bro? I'm happy for Stuck. you, Chad. I am happy for you. Um, Caps Lock Friday is delayed by all this she stuff I had to clean up. <laughs> so let me get this right. You rescued a dog. Oh, my God. So, so Chad, you rescued a dog, brought it home, and it immediately took a dump on your carpet. That's brutal. That is, and I, I feel for you, dude. I feel for you. Absolutely. Uh, he also says Caps Lock. Caps Lock Friday has begun. Let's go, all Caps. Harbaugh stinks. Yes! To which Eric and Raleigh says Caps Lock Friday defeated people. Yes! To which Chad Carter says I had to put the stinks. I couldn't put sucks. Venmo yelled at me. <laughs> you couldn't put sucks in Venmo. Okay. 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 I like it. Um, do we, we don't talk sports on Caps Lock Friday, Giving Friday. I believe that's true. Uh, loner phone Tanner roots for what fan base. Let's give them a shout out. Okay. Um, Eric and Raleigh apologize profusely to Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> too late, too late, too late. Um, Dakota Tubbs. Now we just need a stadium review from James and a donation for the kids. <laughs> I haven't seen Oak State yeah, James here where today. Where the hell is Oak State James at, dude? Dude, did you get a bad corn dog? Oh, there he is right there. 
I woke up late and don't feel good. I'll see y'all on Monday. Oh, no. Oh, damn, dude. We were hoping you won the $100 Amazon gift card so you could buy some books this week. The weekend. good news is you you not feeling good has nothing to do with, uh, you know, Ollie Gordon's portal status. No, so. he's not in the portal yet. Yeah. He's not in the portal. Yeah. Hope uh, Oak State fans have a good spring ball season. Advocates on Venmo, advocates donations, advocates donations. Uh, on Venmo, as you see right here, the advocates are partnered with the Murray Children's Pantry to help fight childhood hunger, and we are uh, supporting them on this Giving Friday. I, I can't say enough about the quality of uh, individuals uh, at the advocates. This is what they do. Um, a lot of people think that oh, there are ain't, 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 ain't lawyers, ambulance chasers. Trust me when I tell you that the advocates care, and it's by their actions and their pocketbook that the advocates care about their communities. They're going to do this bike drive that's coming up. They do school supplies. They do Christmas gifts. They do childhood hunger. You guys, the advocates actually get in the community. Let's support them. A dollar, five dollars, quite literally. You guys have seen the different dichotomies of gifts that have been given today on uh, uh, advocates' donations on Venmo. Yes. $10, $100, $250 from Eric and Raleigh. Like amazing the, stuff. Let's 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 add it up real quick. What do, what do we what do we have so far? I think we're pushing close to five hundred dollars. Right. Let's get the old calculator out and see what we got. Uh, Dakota, Dakota gave uh, fourteen dollars of Pooty's money. Yes. Okay. So Kremlin fourteen dollars. Kremlin in Kremlin dollars. <laughs> uh, our guy Giggity gave a hundred. Okay. My guy, eighteen dollars. Um, I don't know who that is. Uh, sixty-seven dollars. I mean, let me pull them up. Ten dollars. Uh, let's see, twenty dollars to get off of his Clemson Tiger nuts. Right. I'm telling you, it's got to be in the lead. Twenty dollars. Yes. Um, let's see, two hundred fifty dollars from Eric and Raleigh. We're at four ninety-nine right there. Sixty-nine dollars from Chad Carter after he cleaned up dog poop. Yeah. Uh, and then twenty-five dollars. Yes. Um, from the and, girlfriend and from the girlfriend. Yeah. Yes. And then we also had, um, from the, from the girlfriend, speaking of which from the girlfriend, right. Such as uh, in like RJ C man, he gave us $20, 10 yesterday and 10 today. That's right. Um, so that's six thirteen. What did, what did okay. Tanner Plummer do? Uh, where's Tanner? Tanner did. $67. $67. We're at 680. Can we get to a thousand? Let's Could let's we get to a thousand. Can we get to a thousand? Yeah. That's the question. <clears throat> we need, we need, what do we need? Three people to donate 100 320 bucks. bucks. Yeah. 320 That's all bucks. we need. $320. If it's in your heart, if it's in your pocketbook, great. And again, you guys, I don't want you to feel peer pressure. If you cannot afford this, if you are struggling yourself, Hey man, don't worry about it. You being here, you watching the show, you hitting the like button, you commenting, Makes a huge difference on the show. It, it is amazing uh, what you guys do. UW fan Jim, if you wake up and all the con uh, condescending pics of the world are gone, it's called the rapture, right? Condescending pricks. Uh, okay. Do you guys, what do you guys think of this solar eclipse? I think that things like the solar eclipse get people going. I think that people okay. get fired up about it. They, they feel, as the saying goes, a certain type of way. You know, they they read into it too much instead of just saying, yeah, this is a clearly, uh, you know, an event. It happens and it's not the first one. It won't be the last one. Like it just is what it is. OK. OK. Uh, RJC Loner Phone District Taco going for the breakfast burrito. Man, Man breakfast dude, burrito that might so be good. on the docket today. Actually, dog is looking at me with fear as we pull into the parking lot, literally whining. Now it sounds like a no. Maybe move on. You guys should. My dog is laying over here, just passed out. Uh, the big blue horses, the kids getting the pro rata they deserve. Unlike San Diego State, are Clemson's nuts sweaty or salty? <laughs> wow, big blue horses. These nuts. Boyd Lake, uh, I once had a client that would always talk about Mercury's retrograde. It was weird. Yeah. Is anybody, what is Mercury? Mercury. It's something to do with like your sign and, you know. Retrograde. What does that mean? 
uh, can be a difficult time, but can also be a time for reflection and renewal. It's a time to review our priorities and think about our goals for the future. It also is, it's also the ideal time to let go of needs to control every aspect of our lives and trust the natural flow of existence. Stay hard. Okay, next Google search. When is Mercury in retrograde? <laughs> when, when <laughs> is uh, April second? Oh, it's in retrograde right now. Oh, April second. Mercury will begin its retrograde cycle on April second. Well, how long's the cycle? Continuing for the coming weeks of this month, and will lay some astrological impact on oh, our lives. We're in retrograde, dog. Clemson's vernal equinox. Yeah, Clemson's Dude. nuts are fine, bro. What do you mean? It's a time for reflection. We're not clipping anybody right now. Okay. We, we really did. <laughs> um, it, I'm telling you. Okay, wait. Uh, John Ham, James, latitude 40 dot whatever, north longitude for uh, the Ohio State Stadium. You can uh, do you can good. Stadium can do you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure, man. There's what a lot say, of. There, what the okay. fuck are you talking about? You guys missed my additional $20 donation that had a special message on it. I didn't get no $20 donation. Where is it? You Did, could, bro, you got to send me a screenshot. Where is dude? that? Where yeah. is that? You got to send me a screenshot, dude. I didn't get Tanner, that. Tanner, that's amazing. Yeah. Screenshot that donation with the message on it. Yeah. Eric and Raleigh, I wor I'm more worried about the asteroid that is going to hit Earth on Friday, April 13th, 2029. It's in 2029, bro. Yet the world's going to end in 2027. Yeah. According to that guy on... So so let me get this right, Tanner. Tanner, just, just trying to clarify. So you haven't Venmoed me. And you didn't send me a screenshot that you Venmoed them. So you got to you gotta help me out here, bro. Yeah, help us out. Gumby fresh out. Gumby fresh out. Gumby fucking Holy fresh crap. out. Stay hard. Gumby, dude. People don't get this fired up about last year's, didn't get this fired up about last year's eclipse. I don't understand it, Gumby. I truly do Where not understand. Where have you been? Bro. Well, he's been commenting. He's commented in our in a, in our. Comment People section. were saying that you died, bro. It had been so long. We miss you, Gumby. You're yeah. a huge part of the show. Uh, advocates on Venmo, advocates donations, advocates donation, giving Friday here on the Monty Show um, to feed uh, hungry children. Every dollar goes to the Murray Children's Pantry. Is this Tanner's donation? Yes, it is. Ooh, Tanner, I love you, buddy. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see. What did Tanner say in the comment section? Uh, you paid the advocates $20. Sorry for the confusion, you hyenas. When you're soaking nonstop, you tend to get distracted. <laughs> <laughs> he said, do you, do you want this picture, bro? He sent this picture, too. To you? <laughs> yeah. Of him pouring out a cup of yeah. water. I think that might have the lead. Oh, dude. Did you really put in the memo section? You put soaking in let the me, menu let me, section. Let me send you this. In it, the message it has section. has the full effect here, bro. It has the full what? effect. What? Tanner, you are a legend. This is why Tanner is a legend yeah, on this th show. This, this, this homie gets it, man. This is what makes Tanner Plummer. Tanner Plummer. Yeah. This is, this is the whole freaking nine yards right here. What did you send me? Tanner. So put the Venmo you, up you, first. You quite literally put soaking in the memo section <laughs> on the advocate's donation. With the water emoji. And then you sent Jake this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so good. That is so, the advocate, the, I hope, please. Dude, it, it, so the, one of two laugh. things are going to take place here, okay? After the show today, guys. We we may be a sponsor light on Monday. <laughs> on Monday. Right? <laughs> oh my God. So by the way, with Tanner's twenty dollars, that puts us at seven hundred dollars on the button. We need three hundred bucks, bro. So can, all we can, need can is three hundred bucks. Three that's right. OG Gary, three hundred more. Yeah. That's where we're at. Gumby fresh out. Usually making the donuts during this time just popped in to say hi. Dude, we love you, man. Okay, it's good so, to see you. So quick sidebar. Mrs. Monty's out of town right now. She is out of town. So what? What? what no, are we doing she's for not out of town. Right? She's in Hawaii doing a triathlon. Ooh, I run races. That girl's amazing. 
Do you know how much I hate sleeping in my bed by myself? It's kind of a weird vibe when you when you lay next to someone every night and then you sleep alone and it's like, bro, like, like this is weird. <laughs> Kiggity loved it. Exactly right. Exactly right. John Ham. The district gave kids day off of school for the eclipse. Everyone is crazy about it. The Yankees moved their game time. The Yankees moved their game time because it was supposed to be first pitch. We are out here finding any excuse not I, I to just, work. Bro. I don't understand this eclipse thing. Uh, Tanner says, what are they going to do? Cancel me? Probably not. Okay, we we have. Tanner Plummer, Derek <clears throat> Roche says. I just got a DM from a certain Aaron Wilson that said I couldn't log in, had authentication errors, and got mad, so I made a video. So we may be getting a video <laughs> submission here. Okay, good. Uh, Mike Smith, Jennifer sends message to the Monty Show. Uh, can you keep your perverted hyena fans out of control? <laughs> Doesn't make you feel responsible. No, I cannot. I cannot. Tanner says, 10 bucks says the advocates don't know what's so good. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> so good. Uh, what link do we send screenshots of Venmo? SLC Jake. SLC Jake yeah. on, Instagram. on Instagram. DM me. The screenshot of your Venmo to the advocates. Advocates donations. Advocates donations on Venmo on a Giving Friday. We're working with the advocates to raise money for childhood hunger. Uh, they are partnered with the Murray Children's Pantry. We are at $700, and we've got about 40 minutes to get 300 more. Um, Oh, 93. Come on. 93 bro. likes on Let's the show. Go. Let's keep it going. 93 likes. That's a big improvement right there. Well over a thousand views today on the show on YouTube alone. Um, hook it up. Oh, Let's dude, go. The Aaron Wilson video submission is in. It is in. It is in. Russell Gorman says, uh, sorry about your dog. Next time, get one that can handle life a little bit. But Jesus, bro. Shooter chill. Texas has a dog. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? Dude, let me, sh I believe Russell Gorman is Shooter, Texas. Look at the size. Well, okay, this, that probably came yeah, out. Yeah, look wrong. at the size of his dog. Stay oh. hard. <laughs> okay, like, <laughs> that probably came out wrong, but you guys, look at the size of Shooter, Texas's dog. <laughs> Dude, come on, load it. Lo uh, load it. Wow. I am not your daddy. Wow, bro. Good God. Look at the size of that dog. That is awesome. That is awesome. That dog is bigger than your child. Okay. this That's this, amazing. I, I'm just going to tell you guys right now, I don't have the ability to watch these video submissions before I send them over okay. in their entirety. This this it looks like a very interesting situation happening here. Okay. Uh, Aaron Wilson says, $5 here because I can't log into Venmo. Legit authentication error. I sent a video. Jake is working on your video. Uh, Boyd Lake Mercury in retrograde is when the distance between Earth and Mercury is growing instead of decreasing because of their independent orbits around the sun. There's an astrological calendar that tracks this. Okay, I'm a Pisces. Can, can, can you hit the stay hard button, please? Stay hard. There you go. Do you know what, what are you? Sagittarius. You're a Sagittarius. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys believe in, in astrology? Uh, Big Blue Horses Eclipse equals nature doing what nature does. Get the tinfoil hats. Uh, it's over. Get a life D bag. The world isn't over until Dabo joins Get NIL a life and D bag. <laughs> and FSU goes independent. Oh my God. Is this the video? This is the video. Yes. This is the I, video. And, and I, for the record, I have no idea what he talks about. Oh, so video. you haven't seen it? No. I've okay. just simply cut it and we're going to find out live with everybody. Okay. All I can attest to is that there is a majorly broken phone in this video. File picker not opening. What do we do here? There it is. There's a major what? A broken ass phone in this video. Really? Yeah. Don't tell me you broke your phone, dude. Did you break your phone, Aaron? Yeah, he went full uh, Monty broken screen. Okay, we're we're waiting for it to load. Yeah, well, we're waiting. Oh, well, it's processing. Stay home. Processing, man. Okay, here we go. All right, let's go ahead and make this donation towards the advocates on Venmo for the Monty Show or at the advocates. Okay, I like the let's piano. Go sign in. Login error. Mario Brothers. All right. Great gospel. Authentication thing. error. Okay. Okay. Change the password. Okay. Login okay. error. 
Okay. Yeah, this is a nice login book, error. Oh god, come on! I don't have much time. Come on, login error. Building. Yeah, well. I've got an idea. Nice lamp. Oh shit! Oh no! I guess the uh, donations in the mail, boys. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Uh. I'm hoping that's a backup phone. That's like the bath phone, right? Uh, it, the nomenclature is burner phone. Please. I'm hoping that's your burner phone. Yeah, thank you. I'm hoping <laughs> Tanner with the hammer. Come on, man. Uh, okay, Aaron. I appreciate that. So we're at seven. <laughs> Love the bit. Uh, Eric and Raleigh says Jesus. Yes. So we're at seven hundred and five dollars now. Five doll hairs. We're yes. at, we are uh, two hundred ninety five dollars to go. We're at seven hundred and five dollars now. Yes. So we're in good shape. We're in good shape. Dev says hammer time. I guess it's hammer time. Don't worry, they'll give you a loner. Oh, wow. OG Gary. Wow. Let's bro. go. Uh Coog says loner phone, hopefully. Uh Dakota Tubbs, God forbid the advocates ever get sued and all of our donation messages end up in discovery. Oh my God. Oh my God. Don't even say that. Stop. Hammer time. Yeah. Exactly right. All right, the Monty Show. A uh, couple of other things I want to get to real quick. Did you guys see this thing in Kansas City? The Kansas City Chiefs and the Kansas City Rawls. Rawls. They currently have their stadiums in Jackson County, and they wanted a tax initiative mm-hmm. to build a new downtown stadium for the Rawls and do a significant renovation of Burrowhead Stadium. Right. The voters said no, no, no chance. Yeah, we don't we don't want to subsidize billionaires, you know. And it wasn't close. It was 58 to 42. Not close. Right. That's a landslide loss in a vote. And then you flip over to what did you do to your computer? Uh I have to see so, so okay. Two seconds. I have to unplug the drops and uh, to cut videos. And so okay. just wasn't seeing the thing anymore. And so I'm just, yeah. Just okay. Go, con- continue. Okay. So uh, the Royals and the Chiefs have threatened to leave Kansas City. Mm-hmm. First of all, you're not leaving. You're not leaving. You can just write that off. The right. Royals and the Chiefs are not leaving Kansas City. Right. Let's just stop with that nonsense. But this is the right thing to do. There is no reason that we live in Salt Lake City and we are giving billions of dollars to Ryan Smith, the current owner of the Utah Jazz, to renovate the Delta Center and build a downtown entertainment district Mm -hmm. so that the Phoenix Coyotes can move into the Delta Center and Ryan Smith can make billions of more dollars. Because you understand, in the Hunt family... You're not struggling. And so my question is, why should the fine people of Jackson County and Salt Lake County and the state of Utah pay a billion dollars in extra tax to make sure that billionaires don't have to pay for their own upgrades? This is my confusion. Mm -hmm. I don't understand it. And I want to, but I do not understand it. I want somebody to explain to me Why are we subsidizing people that are billionaires? Do you understand that when you own an NFL franchise, especially the Hunt family in Kansas City, right? you paid 15 cents for that franchise. It is worth billions. And yes, you have built it up. And yes, you have spent money to win. It doesn't change the fact that you're a billionaire and you have people in Jackson County who should have no idea what you're doing. They don't follow the Chiefs. They don't follow the Royals. They're not sports fans. I know. How is that possible? Yeah. Why should they be paying more sales tax so that you don't have to put your money into making more money? Why here in Salt Lake should we be paying a billion dollars in taxes? And that's done. You can just, that's over with. Here in Utah, it's done. That, That was never put to a public vote. Ryan Smith has his allies in the legislature. He has his allies in the church. He has zero accountability in the media because they're all fucking cowards Mm -hmm. who will not call him out. 
He got a free stamp, a rubber stamp. It was done. And now the Coyotes, according to Arizona Sports 98.7 in Phoenix, they're for sale, and Ryan Smith is one of the leading contenders to, to win the sale of the, of the Phoenix Coyotes. One, Ryan Smith tries to tell you, oh, well, this is a hockey town and people are clamoring for it. Where? If people are clamoring for it, why did this not go to a public vote? Because we're all clamoring for this shit, so why wouldn't we pay more taxes and vote to pay more taxes <clears throat> to fund your billionaire-making operation? Well, the reason that it didn't go to a vote in the public on a ballot is because it would have never passed. It would have never passed. We don't pay teachers. We don't pay cops. You can't drive down the street in this town without hitting a pothole. 100%. We have a massive addiction problem here. We have a massive homeless problem here. But Ryan Smith doesn't care about that. Ryan Smith is a supposedly a billionaire who doesn't want to spend his own money to make money. Here's the other question. Why should I believe that you're going to spend money and win games? This one, I think, is very fair. Well, the Jazz have won back-to-back -back NBA championships under Ryan Smith. He has spent so much money on salaries. He just continues to spend money on the team and in the community. Oh, wait, he hasn't. Mm. He has not spent money on the team. He has not spent money in the community. But He has not spent money to win games. He has not bought talent. He has not upped his payroll. Yeah. He yeah. has done the exact opposite. Oh, but he owns a minority share in uh, Real Salt Lake. Have they won? No, they haven't. Has Qualtrics won? Yeah, they have. Has he become a billionaire because he built a business? Yes, he has. So you're a billionaire and a tech billionaire, and you have all these relationships, and you're a backwards hat bro, and you have all these connections in the community. Why did you need a rubber stamp instead of a public vote? Because <laughs> you wouldn't have gotten the money. Yeah. You would not have gotten the money. And now... The governor and the legislature, I think they're equally accountable here. And I'm just trying to figure out why on earth, why on earth are we as taxpayers willing to subsidize professional sports owners? Yeah, I mean, I I, I think that in Salt Lake, you know, it, this, this particular project, you know, it, is being sold as a, you know, a revitalization project to downtown and... You know, hey, like we're we're as part of this going to build an entertainment district that, you know, is amazing and everyone can enjoy. And downtown used to be the spot to be. And it's like that's all fine and dandy. But I feel like we don't appreciate the fact that the state is changing. What do I hear from Ryan Smith all the time? Oh, all these new people and build houses and and the state's changing and Utah is incredible. Utah is is is, you know, just the best thing ever. But now you're trying to cover this up by pulling on the heartstrings of folks who've been living here for like 50 years? Like, it doesn't add up, man. And, and I don't disagree that downtown needs some help. I, I, I don't disagree with that. I just don't want to have that help come from a, a, a half a percentage point hike in sales tax. And here's the other problem. What's also on the uh, on the legislators' minds? A new A new baseball stadium which there is a bill to raise more sales tax in Utah to fund a, a, a baseball stadium. Yeah. Why? The Larry H. Miller companies and, and the Miller family, do you really think they're struggling financially? Oh, wait, you know why they're not struggling financially? Because they don't pay for their own shit. Yeah. Because we pay sales tax to pay for their shit. Did they win? Did Gail Miller win? She didn't. Why are we... Now, she sold all of her car dealerships. Why do we need to subsidize her? She sold the Utah Jazz. Why do we need to subsidize her? Why are we subsidizing the LHM companies? I subsidize them when I go to their movie theaters mm -hmm. and I buy their popcorn. That's when I subsidize them. I don't want more sales tax. And it, you can sit here and, and the thing that I love about Utah is we're such hypocrites in a lot of ways. This is supposedly... Uh, a conservative stronghold. You're becoming California, you dick. Mm -hmm. You're overtaxing everybody for everything. And then you're going to go and criticize California and every other democratic state that has high taxes. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now?
it, it, we're not socialists. Yet you're handing you're handing people billions of dollars. You're giving it to them without the citizens having a say. Yeah. Don't tread on me. But I'm going to give billionaires billions of your money without asking you. All right, cool. Yeah. All right. That, I mean, that's what it is, and and that's why I say like, you know, I I. I it's really tough because I, I I try to be reasonable when we talk about Ryan. I try to be fair. I try to be, you know, as, you know, honest as I can be. And and I just don't understand why this is taking tax money. Why why I think the best angle that nobody of name wants to talk about is if this guy grew up on Silicon Slopes, why is he not getting private money? To at least do the building. Because I don't believe that he's a liquid billionaire, as everybody says he is. I don't. And we 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 want, I, I think we want to take the people that we idolize. It's, oh, they're a billionaire. He's a billionaire. He's a billionaire. Okay, well then, uh, time to put up money. Where's the billionaire? Where's the billionaire? Why do you need my money? I under, listen, I understand that Ryan Smith is quintessential Utah. He's awkward white guy that's in the church, like billionaire guy supported by the community. Like he is, he is quintessential Utah rich guy. But the church is spending all this money to revitalize Temple Square downtown. Why not revitalize and help the homeless? I went to a Bravino Hall two weeks ago to watch the Utah State Symphony. And I kid you not, I am not exaggerating. We're walking past needle IV drug users mm -hmm. laying on the sidewalk. Do I do I want my sales tax going for that? No, and I, and I think that you know when the All Star Game was here, there was there was a, a a bit like the Trib did this whole thing about how hey man, like you know we gotta you know we gotta fix the homeless problem and we gotta do this and do that and you know Ryan Smith doesn't care about the homeless problem and. It's this whole ordeal, and, and and I have to say, again, I agree with the concept. Hey, man, like, we got to work on the homeless situation downtown, and in downtown Salt Lake specifically, it needs life injected into it, which yep. this project will do. I don't disagree with that, and I don't want people to be confused about why I have issue with this. I don't have issue with the concept of giving life to downtown. It freaking needs it. Our downtown does not compare to – to like San Francisco or Chicago, or it doesn't feel like a downtown. It feels like mm. a couple of buildings dropped in the middle of a valley, and there's not much to do down there outside of a jazz game and some nice, cute little bars. That's yep. what it feels like. So I just I, I I think that the issue is is that billionaires like Ryan want it both ways. They want to say, exactly "Hey, I'm, right. I'm the pretty boy, but you're paying for it," and they're counting on the fact that people aren't paying attention. And people just don't, you know, are, are just not in the know. And so he thinks that's fine. By the way, if your building was selling out every night, why are we doing ticket giveaways on your personal Twitter account? Why are you doing $12 ticket night? Oh, that's right, because the Jazz are terrible, bro. You, you're talking about that's exactly in, in right. our members only group. I think it was yesterday. might have been the day before. You got a guy who, who's been a Jazz fan for I don't know how long, is a Utah fan for I don't know how long, and Greg Hawkins. Talking about how, hey, man, like, Ryan, I, I used to believe in Ryan, but I don't really believe in Ryan anymore. And and the Jazz are terrible. I don't, I've lost interest. Ryan Smith has made me lose interest in the team. Do you think that Greg is the only one who feels that way, Ryan? Do you think that, mm. like, I got I got Brandon Butler who, who donated to the Advocates yeah. today. Brandon Butler is out here in our members only group talking about how he's now in the camp of trade Lori. Because by the time the Jazz are good, Lori's going to be over 30. And what's the point? Which is what we've been saying for years. <laughs> like, so that's my the, my whole thing here is he's doing this backwards, and he's doing it backwards because he doesn't have the money liquid to do it, and, and that's why nobody's going to hold him accountable. Yeah, it is what it is. San Diego State, Glen, the land of the free and the home of the Chiefs. Perhaps not for long. They're not going anywhere. Uh, I I don't know. Uh, I I could be I could be wrong, but you know. It, it is what it is. Uh, yeah. John Ham says, I just sent screenshots from my wife's Insta as I don't have Instagram. Ooh. Yes. That's let's go. It is I giving It is giving Friday. Do not, please don't donate memberships today. Please donate to the advocates, advocates donations on Venmo. 
Advocates donations on Venmo. All right, we are at $705. We're trying to get to 1,000 in the next 24 minutes. Next, you paid the advocates $15. I feel like this is a better representation of Aaron's video. I like it. Who sent that That's one? Tanner. That's Tanner. Yeah, with another donation. That is Tanner. Yes. Wow. Yes. Tanner and coming he sent, in. He sent a, a gif of a guy with a uh, wiffle ball bat breaking something. I like it. Uh, Tara. Yes. For $10. I like it. I'm believing that's John Hamm. Yes. Uh, John, appreciate that. Uh, bleach that money maker. Bleach why, that money maker. Why? What is the wow. what what is the obsession this week with bleaching J2H's butthole? <laughs> that is it. This is a conversation like, we need to have. Like, what are, where did that come from, dude? Like, what what because it's happened, been bro? it's been in the comment section after the show yesterday, uh, on the show yesterday in the comment section, uh bleaching Jakey's um uh brown eye, star starfish, fish, uh Tootsie Roll. Uh, you know, Tootsie Roll. Yeah, I believe someone called it a Tootsie Roll. Stay hard. Okay, that feels awkward to me. We are just two hundred and seventy dollars away from a thousand dollars in donations. Advocates donations. You guys, if it's five dollars, if it's a hundred dollars, every penny goes to fighting childhood hunger in our communities. The advocates are partnered with the Murray Children's Pantry. It is Giving Friday. Usually, we are. What's the matter, Jake? Things are not working over here. Jake right now, is bro. having technical difficulties with the drop yeah. machine. Stay hard. Yeah. Um, but I'm telling you, you guys, the advocates are doing great work in our communities. Fight childhood hunger. It is so difficult for me to fathom that in this country of billionaires and stuff, mm -hmm. that we have kids who don't know where their breakfast, lunch, and dinner are going to come from. We have kids who don't know if they're going to eat at all today. Mm hmm. And we have this belief that, oh, schools are feeding kids. They're not. We can't pay teachers, let alone feed kids. So my point is, please donate to the advocates on Venmo. Send it directly to their Venmo, advocates donations, advocates donations. And we're going to give away a $100 Amazon gift card today, no matter what your donation is. And the memo section has really turned quite violent yes, this morning. Yes. Um, if you look at this right here, it is. Uh, and remember, what's our guy's name? I'm terrible with that. Oh, let me uh, let me pull it back. Get here. off my Clemson Tigers nuts. Perhaps has the lead, but there's been so many good ones. Tanner Plummer. Sorry for the confusion, you hyenas. When you're soaking nonstop, you tend to get distracted. You're wow. no, soaking nonstop. Yeah. But I, I, I mean, uh, and then he sends another that says, I feel like this is a better representation of Aaron's video. <laughs> they, I am excited Dude. to talk to Jennifer yes. Young at the Advocates yes. today. Yes. Because it'll be yes. very interesting to see how she feels about the memo section. So if you have it in your heart and you have it in your wallet, $5, $10, $1 million dollars. We are just $270 away from $1,000 in donations to fight childhood hunger. Yeah. You guys are amazing. I appreciate every one of you. Who do you, who has the lead? I, I think Tanner probably has the lead with the soaking. Comment. I mean, the soaking comment was pretty legit, Tanner. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I, I think the contenders are Maury. Maury because he sent that video. Clemson nuts. Uh, uh, Tanner. Certainly. Certainly. Yeah, uh, and then who did the who did the two hundred fifty dollar donation? Who Eric and Raleigh. Eric and Raleigh. Eric and Eric Raleigh. Raleigh's in there just by volume alone. Yeah. So you know. Yeah, I think that is yeah. Uh, OG Gary says Jake's Patrick Star. Exactly right. Right. Aaron Wilson. Jake's going to be squeaky clean after this chocolate starfish yeah, was bleached. Dude, hundred percent, dude. You know, people are tired of front uh, to back. Jakey Tuholes, Rusty Sheriff badge. Clean that thing up. Dude, about mama, the chocolate starfish. Uh, OG Gary, Whiskey Street and Van Ryder are the best bars in downtown Salt Lake. Okay, okay, Brandon Butler. Hello, Mendenhall is terrible about the homeless issue as mayor. Uh, she was more concerned about keeping the jazz downtown than fixing the problem. I would totally agree with that. Uh, Jeremiah Champion, hello, my friend. Good morning. 
Denver is so bad. They will do their drugs right on the street in front of people. The city also smells like piss because there are no public bathrooms that don't require payment. We're walking to a Bravano Hall to see the symphony. Not only do we see drug users on the street, we're walking down this side street to get to the em- entrance of the symphony hall. Yeah. And this guy is just standing there taking a leak on a chain link fence. That's what Salt Lake City is. Yeah, let's give the billionaire more billions. Let, let's, let, it makes no sense, you guys. Do you, do you understand that? It makes no sense. Jay Brannon. Hello, Jay. Sounds like twisted trickle-down economics. LOL, if you pay the extra taxes, more money comes into the city, which leads to your, po- to your pocket, except it sounds like it didn't work. And it doesn't work. It's never worked. Yeah, and I think that the, the local politicians in Utah, just all they care about is making sure that we stay status quo. Hey, status quo here, let's build a bunch of houses and let's sell on the fact that we've got all these new people coming into the state. And oh, everything's amazing. And, and I'm just like, dude, do you have no do you have no thought or foresight to the idea that, hey, stupid, you know, if we tax the people who have been there a long time, who have been in this state a long time, if we tax those people more, what's that going to do to sentiment in the state? What's that going to do to to the way people spend money. Like I, I I've always loved the conversation of gas in our state. It's hilarious to me that, that, that gas prices seem to ebb and flow with the temperature outside, not with demand or like, I love how every summer we get told, Oh, well it's summer traveling season as if Americans right now can afford to drive across the country with gas prices. Yeah. And who's not like, worried about on. who's not worried about, um, this issue with gas prices going, oil going to, um, oil going to ninety dollars a barrel yesterday. Yeah, like, come on, dude. Who's not worried about that? Because I'm worried about that. I'll be, I, I will be perfectly frank with you. I'm terrified about that. And the, I just think that we're in a situation where we can't be giving Ryan Smith billions of dollars. We can't be giving the Hunt family billions of dollars. We cannot do it. You can't. And I more feel for Royals fans because the Royals actually won, spent money to win, and they 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 play. Do you guys understand that they basically play in the same stadium the Oakland A's play in? They're cookie cutter mirrors of each other, except Al Davis didn't build a massive thing in center field in Kansas City. He did right. that in Oakland. Yeah. Do you understand the issues that are facing everyday Americans? Oh, you don't because you're a billionaire. That's what this comes down to. That's what this comes down to. And I think it, this is what we do to ourselves in election cycles. Yes. Like gas gas price going up is only because it's an election cycle. That's it. And you, you look at the people that control OPEC and the people that control the gas prices in this world are not Americans. They're Saudis. And they want to impact the election. What better way to do that than to make people think the economy sucks and it's uh, it's Sleepy Joe's fault that gas prices are going up. Do you understand he has very little control over gas prices? But that's what we do. Yeah. That's what we do. Uh, RJC Loner Phone. Monty, hello. Jake, play the music. Then read Apple Loner Phone on Google. That You're still on Loner Phones? Yeah. So, I, so you know how you guys have been Instagram DMing me all these pictures for the advocates thing? Yes. So on Instagram, there's a, a section in your DMs where you can look at um, like hidden DMs that are sent by people who, you know, said some some kind of nasty things or whatever. Yeah, I don't read them. Yeah. Um, uh, RJC Loner Phone is on that list on my Instagram. Apparently. Oh, boy. So he's 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 sent some pretty, uh, you know, he is being filtered. Yes. OK. Uh, Eric and Raleigh says two more likes to get to 100. Really? Really, we're at 98. You guys, let's go. Hook it up. Uh, Tanner Plummer, every country wants a a say in America's election, I guess. Seriously. No doubt. Brandon, that's a picture of a bagel. Uh, Hey, Monty, what is the best Mexican restaurant in San Diego? Los Coyotes Cafe. To RC, RC loaner phones credit. Yes. He did donate to the advocates. Oh, he did? I didn't see it because it was filtered. He so, did. To his credit, okay. even with all the dumb things he DM'd me, he did He did donate, and I appreciate that. Okay. All and right. And it is not a small sum of money. Uh, I like I like high gas prices, Loner Phone says. Less people on the road. American oil companies make bank. Let's not forget this. No, they are very greedy people. 
It's it is a lot. It's all profit taking. Let's get let's get loaner phones advocates donation up here. Let's let's pay homage to my boy. Yeah, for making a fifty dollar donation. So what does that take us to now? We had eight hundred yet. Uh, we will be if we add fifty dollars. Fifty doll hairs. We are at seven hundred and eighty dollars. You there guys. There you go. We are at seven hundred and eighty dollars. Two twenty to go. Two twenty to go. Children's Hunger Monty Show. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. You, that's amazing, Loner Phone. Thank you. Very what? much appreciate that. His name that. is now graduated. <laughs> Loner Phone. His name is Loner Phone. <laughs> what? I love Lamp. He yeah. loves Loner Phones. <laughs> what do you want from me? Uh, 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 Shooter Texas. Price of gas is going to see a massive spike because of millions of people driving around to see the eclipse on Monday. <laughs> Exactly right. Dogs are not cheap when they're that size to put in no, your car. No, right? they are not. Monty, you can casual. It's not called Los Coyotes Cafe anymore. It's called Cafe Coyote now. It is Cafe Coyote. Yeah. Cafe Coyote is the best Mexican restaurant. It is. You go to the it's look. Gas, just look dude. at the Best Western gas. in Old Town San Diego, and it is right down the street. And I am telling you, there is not a bad item on that menu. Yeah, it, it's not. Uh, Dakota. This is the hill RJ Loner phone is going to die on, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Why do you... We've established it. Dude, UAE canceled diplomatic relations don't, with Israel. Don't, don't. Iran is threatening Dude. to launch a direct attack. Boy, you are lucky the drops are out right now. The price of oil and ass. gasoline has everything to do with that. Not po- Oh, please. I think... I think the, pro- the... You know what the biggest problem is, Shooter? You're right. You're right. The Saudis can change the price of gas today and usually they do yeah right like it, it's not it's not rocket science yeah and, and i think the frustrating thing is like even again as i as we say every single time that we even venture a toe in the water of politics the the frustrating thing is i'm not even i'm not even like oh man trump's the best biden sucks or the other way or whatever like i just i, I just want to be able to go to the gas station and get out front or 50 bucks that's all I want, dude. That's it. That's it. I just want to get That's out for under 50 bucks. And if That's that right. happens, we're good. Yeah. Uh, Shooter says, no joke, about 5 million visitors expected in my area dude, of Texas. Dude. License plates from all over the nation are showing up right now. We 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 have a we have a winner in in uh in in the donation run. Do we, tell. We, we have a winner. Brandon Butler, my vote is for Growcock to get the gift card. Maybe we need another vote. Yeah, Growcock's burner account 69. Growcock. RJ uh, Loner phone. I sent a pic of my dog in the in the snow. That's not dumb. I didn't say it was dumb. You know, it's fine. Uh, Mister Scallion, Oak State is the taint of the Big Twelve. <laughs> I'm sorry, I must have misread. That. Is this James's burner? Oak State is the taint <laughs> of the Big Twelve. Pistols foring pew pew. OG to the Sooners. The taint. I'm so. I believe you said the I taint. Thought you said taint. Taint. Nothing wrong with that, yeah, boy. Man. Yeah. All right. Let's see. What do we got here? Um, people texting me. This is Eric and Raleigh. Mm-hmm. Wow. Another. Okay. Eric and Raleigh won. Two. He he said. Uh, what did he say? Wow. In his Instagram message. That's four hundred seventy dollars. He said, "Take it to a thousand. That's four hundred and you guys. There so it is. A thousand. That's a thousand on the dot. Eric and Raleigh, congratulations! You Winner, won yourself a hundred dollar Amazon Winner, gift dude. card. Four hundred and seventy dollars. This cat gave today. Wow, that is awesome. That is awesome. All right, well, let's put our money where our mouth is. We're at one hundred and four likes. Um, let's pick another one. I think we got to go with with Tanner Plummer. So Eric, Eric and Raleigh's got a hundo. Yep. What 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 should we give? What should we give Tanner? Tanner, how much did Tanner give? Tanner gave sixty seven and fifteen, I think. Well, I mean, he gave yeah, he gave. I, I'm happy to give Tanner a fifty dollar Amazon gift card. Okay, so so Super Soaker's got fifty, and Aaron Wilson for breaking his burner phone. I think we give him twenty five. Okay, and Aaron's got twenty five. There you go. Okay. DM Jake, you guys. He will hook you up. Uh, you guys are amazing to get to a thousand dollars, uh, in donations is wild to me that we were able to do that. Um, it's a statement. 
That is a statement. That is that is wild. And I appreciate all of you. Um, that is that's very humbling that you guys support our show like that. Yeah, and dude. listen, right here, advocates donations on Venmo, advocates donations. They're working to end childhood hunger. Eric and Raleigh gave four hundred and seventy dollars today. Crazy. That's unbelievable. And so many of you have given uh, money to this cause today. This is what the show can do. Look at all these different donations. This it, is what the show is capable of. It's incredible. I mean, it helps. It, it helps so many people um, that we are that we are that we are giving this this kind of money, man, and having fun with it, and having fun in the memo section. And you know, I I think it just speaks to what this show is about. And I want you guys to understand. Yes, it is a good time. Yes, it is. We talk sports. Yes, we talk life. Yes, we laugh at Tanner for being the super soaker and RJC loner phone. But you look at what this is doing today, you guys. This is putting food in the mouths of hungry children. How many kids does a thousand dollars feed, man? That's that's a a lot. That's that's amazing. That is that's amazing. You know, uh, Aaron Wilson, perfect record. Aaron has never lost a video submission contest. <laughs> Do you guys know that he is undefeated? He is the ultimate Texan. I mean, it's it's amazing. Shooter Texas says the taint of the Big Twelve. That's what I tune into this show for each day. <laughs> Glad we could fulfill yeah. the expectation. Yeah, yeah, dude. Right, uh, Mike Mike Smith, give Tanner Plummer a sponge. Let's see, what you, see what you did there. Uh, how am I not in the con- in consideration for my video? You are. You won. We just said you won, bro. Uh, Tanner says fifty dollars for me. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, dog. I'm all for it, man. I, I truly am all for it. Um, yeah, there's Jennifer Young, and this is this is the person we talked to at the app. Yes. Um, <laughs> what did she say? She said, "Oh my God, are you serious?" I said, "Yes." Um, it is. Uh, it, it amazing day. It truly is. It truly is. What you guys do for us is. A thousand dollars is a statement, bro. That's yeah, you know. it's wild. This is not normal for a YouTube show. Proud to be a member. Cap Cap Lock Friday for real. <laughs> <laughs> and I and honestly, that's you guys. That's why we do this show. We don't. We do this show because it's fun. Yes, we do this show because we enjoy doing it together. Yes, that's very true. We do this show because we like the community we've built. But we do this show because we know we have the ability to help people. And I know that we have not always met the bars that we have set, but the ability to help our listeners over the holidays, whether you guys know it or not, we gave a bunch of Christmas away this year because you guys are members of the show and you donate to the show. Um, The ability to give $1,000 to help hungry kids is remarkable. It is remarkable. Um, Let's see. What a fantastic start to the weekend. Yes. Uh, I totally agree with that. You know, Toby Lawson, the Tigers nuts concede to Eric and Raleigh. Awesome. <laughs> Still just incredible that you put that in a, in a Venmo the, memo dude, section. The fact that we've got tiger nuts <laughs> in soaking in Venmo caption sections is crazy, dude. The memo section on Venmo got a bit wild. <laughs> Water emoji, nut emoji. <laughs> I've done what I he, he said what, what he, he allegedly, allegedly said. said. <laughs> <laughs> you put get off my Clemson Tiger nuts. <laughs> so good. Uh RJC Loner Phone. You guys rock. Love seeing community pull together indeed. Uh, Jeremiah, this community is just great. It is, and I appreciate it. I bring the hot fire, Aaron Wilson says. My Cat God. Sock Friday. Brandon Butler, Dodgers, Cubs. For the win on Cat Sock Friday. <laughs> exactly right. Eric and Raleigh says, Clemson. Dude, Cat Sock oh God. Friday She's is reading one of my the memo favorite. section. I've got the little bubble with the three uh, dots. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Do, are, are we getting fired? She said, I'm going to go through it right now. Oh, God. 
get ready for the rapture in the memo section. Uh, dude, it caps off, caps off. Caps get off. ready for the rapture! Mercury is in retrograde. You're all effed. S T D D S T T D B. I don't know what that means. Uh, caps lock fly, caps fighting, you casual jagoffs. <laughs> it just makes it better. <laughs> Uh, thank you for always making it fun to listen to your show. Thanks, Kay. Appreciate that. Eric and Raleigh. <clears throat> Make a stop, Monty. <laughs> Tanner Plummer. You lose all credibility. <laughs> Do you even watch Caps Lock Friday, bro? <laughs> Star Wars for life. I feel like this is death metal. <laughs> Am I doing it right? <laughs> you are, Brad. Congratulations. <laughs> But when you're typing it, make sure you say it back to yourself in Caps Lock Friday voice. Yeah. And it's sad that Chad Carter, I hope you're still listening. Uh, ruler across the knuckles coming for Monty from the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So true. Keith Carl. Loud noises. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cap Soak Friday. Cap, Cap Soak, Soak Friday. Friday. No. Tanner, I'm not playing your game. Okay. Like number 108, how pathetic that at 856 Central, there have only been 108 likes. And we're like at 1,200 views today, you guys. Um, safe to say the subs on this channel will never form a like site uh, Super League. No, they will not. No, no, That's they true. won't. That's true. Tanner, I'm not reading that. I'm not reading. We don't curse <laughs> on this show. It's a family show. Don't even make me a floor up on the field. <laughs> Did I do that right? <laughs> Tomorrow is soaking Saturday. Shooter Texas, that poor Mike is going to need a good soak yeah, after the show. <laughs> it's Camp Sock Friday. And James is not here to enjoy this. Yeah. You know? Well, I, which James? There's like four James. Okie State? There's only one James, Jake. Okay. You guys are textually engaged. That's true. That's true. There's only one yeah, James. Yeah, I know. I know. There's only one James. Uh, Five Guys Burgers are the best burger ever invented on Caps Lock Friday. <laughs> Long live Gumby. Read the whole comment, Monty. <laughs> yeah, you don't even read the whole comment. Caps Lock Friday says Gary Bohan and his Monty's daddy. <laughs> Couldn't make it one show without a Bohannon reference. Hit the like button. Not Jake Watzloff. <laughs> uh, Rip Gumby. Gumby's back. It's good. Dude, I'm telling you, people thought Gumby died or something. RJC Loner Foam. Burrito kicking in just to uh, had to leave the car while wow, that's going to okay, take so, a minute so to clear. So I have $40 in Grubhub credit. Yes. Should we use that on breakfast burritos or should we use that on lunch? That's I want a breakfast part. burrito. I want a breakfast burrito. There is no no doubt about that. Yeah. I want a breakfast burrito. Yeah. In in fact. Okay, that's it. Show's over. You guys are flipping amazing. Yeah. Thank you for coming through on uh Giving Friday. And no, there will be no music to end the show. Sorry, dude. This is the Monty Show. Um, the truth and <laughs> So you quite literally broke the drop. Aaron Wilson broke the drop machine yeah, today. So, you know, as part of this process of cutting videos for you hyenas, it, it glitches out our mixer sometimes because I got to unplug it and plug it back in. And so it just, yeah, it just, yeah. <sighs> it is what it is, man. Sorry. You have one job every day. Yeah, but I can't make this thing work correctly. It, it's a machine. The Monty Show presented by The Advocates, theadvocates.com, the best injury attorneys in the business. Hook it up. Oh, God. Three more three more dots in the bubble. Okay. We got to wait and see what she says. Hold on. Hold on. Advocates.com. We went until 8.15 yesterday. We, we you, got two minutes. Where you can chat with an injury attorney live online for free. Might not be the case on Monday. <clears throat> you don't pay the advocates unless and until they win your case. Okay. There it is. There it is. What'd she say? <laughs> Monty. Monty. You guys are we fucking happy? assholes. <laughs> Jennifer from the Advocates, quote, bleach that moneymaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Did we know somebody sent that? 
Yes. Who sent that? You got to look through them. I can't remember. Oh, my God. Bleach that moneymaker for the children. My friend Tanner doesn't know how to use Venmo. <laughs> Uh, the, the, uh, okay. That's the tiger. Get off the tiger nuts. <laughs> We're in so much trouble. It's, uh, it's the second to last one. The, the Tara one, the second to last $10, one. $10, $10 donation. Looks that's like this. $50. Looks, looks like, like the, looks like this one. Okay. Where is that? Is that this one? That's the, yes. Bleach that money maker from Tara. <laughs> John ham, John ham. I warned you. Hey man. I warned you. Hey man. You know, thousand dollars got a price to pay, bro. The fact that you guys have a, a sponsor on this program <laughs> texting my boy over here saying bleach that right? money like, maker. In all seriousness, that's what she said. <laughs> She's got the skull and laughing emoji. <laughs> it's so good. I, I don't know. Yeah, can you? Can you? Can they see that? Uh, it, it's this. It. I don't know. Um. She said, bleach that money maker. And then she said, you're showing your listeners are amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Wow. Okay. Well, mission accomplished today. Good job. Good work. You guys showed up today for Giving Friday. Good job. Like button, you know, behavior needs some work, but this was excellent work today. Oh, my God. Uh, advocates donations. Advocates donations on Venmo. Uh, fight children's hunger with the advocates and the Monty show until Monday. Stay hard. Say goodbye, Jake. Goodbye, Jake.